I'm an orangutan that escaped from the zoo. Playing games is what I like to do. Last time on Ultima 8 Pagan, we had a confrontation with the Tempest. Uh, with, with two Tempests. And the better Tempest won. So now, Tenebrae is under the rule of Devon, a far more benign ruler than it has ever had. Well, it, than it's had in a long time, at least, so. So that's good. The I have changed I have changed the land of Pagan for the better. And I should feel good about that. However, what I do not feel quite so good about is not knowing not knowing what the heck to do next. I forgot, this is a noisy place. I could just pop in there and do some damage, but I'm not I don't have a reason to do that. This is the most unique place that I can go to. But I don't see why anything should have changed here. I, if if there's something new here, I don't, I won't. I'm not gonna understand why. If if there's something I can do here now that I couldn't do before, I'm not gonna understand why. Of course, maybe there was something I could always that I always could have done, and I just haven't figured it out yet. Basically, if I can't figure out what to do this episode, I'm gonna go to an FAQ once again, and I'm pretty sure you guys won't blame me. Because I tried my best. You guys know I have tried my best, but... Wait a tick. I can summon a golem from dirt. This is kind of dirt. This kind of is dirt. Why didn't I think about that before? I'm, I'll give it a shot. Come on, golem. Yes, a golem! I didn't... I was thinking that a golem couldn't be summoned through stone, but of course, it probably can. Alright, follow me. I should have done this so much earlier. Follow me, golem. Were you meant to open this door with a golem? I'm not sure, but I'm doing- I'm- I'm gonna- I'm gonna do this. Thank you! Alright! Progress! I wasn't sure that this was actually the place I need to make progress, but it is! If you could just step out of the way slightly. Jeez, you take up a lot of space. Mr. Golem! Get out of the way! Thank you. Can you follow me? Follow me, my friend! There might be more doors. Nope? Okay, well then just, uh, sit there doing the funky chicken. Hmm, faces. Hello there. <laughs> ah, they gave you one of these Zealand ceremonial shields. I see where this is going. I actually had one from Mithrin, so you didn't need to give me one. But I definitely was on the right track by getting one. Dang it. Okay. Well, I thought I made some progress, but I think I might be stuck again. Come on, Key of Scion. Please unlock for the Key of Scion. I'm worried because the previous door didn't unlock for the Key of Scion. Yep, if the previous door doesn't unlock for the Key of Scion, why will the door behind it unlock for the Key of Scion? We're back in the birthplace of Morians. It turns out that this is where I needed to go. I had to check an FAQ, but now I know what to do. And in the end, I'm glad I checked an FAQ. It's... I mean, it's a shame that I had to, but... I would have been stuck for a long time had I not, because I made a pretty major misconception of the graphics. I thought that this piece of land and this piece of land were the same heights, but it turns out that this is higher, and we can actually climb up here and continue with our progress. Which we can do just like that. That's like the one spot that you can actually climb up. It's actually really hard to climb up this, but if you know exactly where to climb, because if you remember, I was I was jumping like crazy. I was jumping like here, and I can't climb, and here, and you can't climb. But if you get just right in that, just that sweet spot, right here, you're able to climb this. But I mean, look at this. It's really hard to climb. If I'm, I'm walking right up to it and I can't climb it, it's only that one, that one specific spot. And they put a bunch of stalagmites in front of it. So I mean, really, really, I mean, I feel kind of sad, but... At the same time, I feel like I only deserve half the blame, because this was just poor level design, in my opinion. It really was. And in many ways, the other error I had was kind of poor level design as well, but who cares? Let's go on. I still deserve some of the blame, and I kind of feel dumb, but that's fine. Here we go. Make it. We're finally making progress, and I can feel happy about that. Amrezar, the... By the Ancients Ones, he is met. Good for you, Amrazar. I guess you did what you wanted to do. A vial of blood and a pile of blackmore. 
Were those reagents to a particular spell? I think they were. Anyways, I could use some extra Blackmore and some extra blood since I only have one of those. So I'll take an extra copy. And we have an empty bag here. There's nothing else in this area. Oh, I think, I think I know what they mean for me to do, in fact, actually. They gave me the reagents for a particular spell, and I'm thinking I recall what that spell is. So that was very kind of them to give you the reagents for the spell that you need exactly when you need it, I think. And I recall wondering, do I need open grounds? But Despoor Yelm, apparently I do here. And there we go, all right. Making more progress. Whoa. In you go, Avatar. All right, so why did I just do that? Is there anything else in Okay, there we go, it's a cutaway. All right then, on we go. And what's over here? Anything on this path? No, okay. Some big doors, not big locked doors. That will remain locked, maybe? Oops, excuse me. Didn't mean to press that button. The key of Scion. I am the Scion! They don't care. Okay. Well, I'll show you. I'm gonna be the best Scion that there ever, that there ever was. And then, after I've shown you what a great Scion I can be, then, then you'll regret it. Then you'll be sorry that you ever locked me out. Well, well, well. Why is that there? Can't reach. Locked. Don't know why I always do both doors, but who knows, one of these days, one door will be locked, the other one will open. I have the Sphere of Power! Don't make me use the Sphere of Power! <laughs> I don't even know what it, what it will do. Ooh, marbles! Whee, marbles! I love marbles. <laughs> Alright. But now is not the time for marbles. Well, maybe now is the time for mar- Now is no longer the time for marbles. Okay, so there seems to be a bit of a wall here. Is there a pressure plate that I can step on to open up this wall, maybe? No such luck. Can I climb over it? No. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that's a dead end for now. There's no other way over there. I can see a barrel over there. <laughs> it's... Is seeing through the walls is an interesting capability. Oh, and this is the other side of this door. I actually got into this area by uh, breaking open one of the doors with a golem. I was wondering if I summoned another golem here, if I would be able to break down this door. And there's a shield of Zealand back there, so... Uh, if I need the shield... Hmm... In fact... Is that like a shrine? It, they give me a lot of items to throw. They give me a lot of items to throw, and there's a thing. I think I know what they want here. I think they want me to throw an object on that. Yes? Or maybe I just like throwing things. Can I throw an object up there? And if I hit that panel, will a gate come down, maybe? I don't know, it seems kind of harebrained, but... I don't seem to be able to throw up there. It looks like that's a gate right there, doesn't it? Somehow the graphics look slightly different. Yeah, I'm, de I'm detecting a gate right here. Or I wonder. Hey, Mithrin. Is there a magic portal that needs a spelling right here? Focus, focus! Magic focus! No? Okay, never mind. What if I just try to, like, set the marble on top of the thing? Will that work? I'll put a marble on this pedestal here. That made the marble go pretty crazy. But it didn't help my situation at all. We'll try a skeleton, it's more stable. <laughs> okay, so I'm wondering if this is the right thing I'm doing here. It did it! That was the right thing to do! Okay, alright! I am on a roll! Let's keep let's keep this going. I was I was really not sure that that was the right thing to do. Whoa, what? Okay, so that's like a locked switch, a locked button. Okay. 
Well, we know where another lever is. Another switch. A key! Hooray! Hit that with the key ring? Doesn't work like that. Okay, double click. Wait, where was my key ring? Where did they pick the... There it is. The key ring. Key ring! And I might as well take this extra... 16 piles of Blackmore? Wow. That's a lot of Blackmore. I'll just take... I'll take two. I'll take two Blackmore. Did I just say three? Whoops, I meant two. I'm gonna put one back. There you go. Three seems fair. Alright, so they're giving me Blackmore. Last time they gave me a reagent, it was for a, uh, for a reason. So I wouldn't be surprised if they... Ooh, orange flavor. I wouldn't be surprised if they gave me... Yum. I love orange. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised because it tastes like orange. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they gave me Blackmore for a reason too. What spells use Blackmore? Uh, the Golem uses Blackmore. That's for sure. The Golem. Then again, they're giving me wood too. Wood. Bone. Dirt. If they give me blood, then they're giving me all the reagents for a golem. Golem. Destructo disc! I love my destructo disc! And alcohol. Oh, it's empty. Oh, it's empty. Who put who put this alcohol in here? It empty. Okay, calm down. Can I not get through here? I want that key over there. That's weird. When I get under this overhang... It shows a path here. Oh, I can just... Well, I can just walk underneath it. Okay, I just... It was just that it was too high. I was hitting my head. <laughs> Avatar, learn to crouch! Really? Oh, I'm hitting my head. I can't... I can't get through. Oh, well. Key. Key ring. Nope, I was just making an assumption. Dirt! They gave me all the reagents for a golem. Interesting. Why did they go and do that, I wonder? <laughs> he says, fully, fully well knowing the answer. What is this ghostly wall? Ah, ah. Ow, ow. Okay. Yeah, I was expecting something bad. I don't know why I stepped on that. <laughs> when I, I knew full well that it was going to be a bad thing. I should have. I, maybe I should have stone flesh. That was that was ill-advised what I did there. But at least I'm alive. <laughs> oh, I see more of these weird fields. More of these trip wires. What I just do there? Activated a. Ooh, stair. I activated this. Oh, I see. Plat. It's a puzzly puzzle. Ah. Step on this one. That happens. Step on that. That happens. I'll let that happens. Okay. Why? Why am I doing that? I don't fully understand why I'm doing that. Oh, I did it. Okay, so I got two keys recently, but none of those keys are for these doors. But I could just summon a golem and bust that door down. I mean, we've got a lot of stone here, and, uh... Maybe they intend me to break that door down. Okay, so I don't have the key for that one, but I could bust that door down too. I'm not sure if I'm meant to bust these doors down, but they're basically asking for it. Wait, was there another path back here? I want to double check if there was another path. Did I miss another path back here? I just want to make sure. I'll jump over this quake causing thing. And uh, Wait, did I check those barrels up there? Did I ever climb up there for those barrels? I'm not sure if I climbed on top of that. Oh, I can't jump here? Okay. And that's why you need to Okay, I get it. You're not happy with me standing on you. There's a bag in here that contains a bomb. It will be touched off. Run, Avatar! Before it blows. Wow, that barrel flew! That was cool. That was probably one of the most... Um... Spectacular physics explosions I've seen. One of the most violent physics explosions I've seen in this game. Is 
anything else down here that I didn't take? No. Just... Yeah, there's the chest with the things in it. Oh, there's this little, uh... Did I... Did I... Did I search that little chest? I just want to make sure. I searched that little jewelry box, didn't I? Hey, stop it. Why? Oh, I think I'm being messed with here. There we go. Did I? Oh, right. That was a Blackmore. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Wonderful short-term memory I have there. So, right. This was a dead end, basically. And then there's locked doors here, but I can summon a golem. I can summon a golem. Ah! That door. And I could summon a golem to open this door as well. So do I open a golem to summon this to break down this door? Uh, I'll I'll do I'll deal with the stairs first. Just considering my options, though. my options carefully before I make a decision of going this way. Now, can I climb up this? Oh, I slid down the stairs. Come on, Avatar. You can do it. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe if I use this as a ledge. Eh. No, not, not nearly high enough. Ah, now I increase that one's height. Now it lowered back down. Okay. So I lowered that one. Okay, I think I'm making some sort of progress. I don't fully understand what I'm trying to achieve here. I mean, it seemed like I had things the way I wanted them originally, and I've kind of screwed things up, haven't I? Yeah. Why'd I just do all that? I'm not sure. Let's just try climbing again. We'll see if that works. Up you go, Avatar. Come on, Avatar. There we go. Now get nice and close. And come on. <laughs> nope, that just doesn't work. Now let's continue trying to solve this puzzle. Oh, I see. It's like we're basically just trading them. We're moving them around. So why would you want to do that? So I'll move the short one here. I'll pull down this next one. And then I'll put that one here. I think I'm starting to understand this puzzle now. So I gotta grab this one and put it here. So I can grab this one and put it here. 
then I can finally pull down the final one. But I can't put it in either of these two locations because they're in the way. So I need to start grabbing these blocks. Put that one here. Then I can grab this one. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. How do I get the tallest one to move? Without being able to move that one. Grab this one. I need- I, I see what I need to do. Oops, that's not the thing. I'll grab this one, put it here. Now I gotta take the short guy, put it in the middle. So I can put the middle guy on the left side. Then I can take the shortest one, put it on the left side. And then finally I can take the big one, put it in the center. Now, did I want the biggest one in the center? And why? This is the thing I don't understand. But then I'll take the smallest one, put it over there. Not there, I didn't mean to step there. Put the smallest one there. Take the next one. Put it over there. Oh, dang it. I keep stepping on the wrong step. Cut it out! Dang it. Alright. I can't put it there. So I need to take the smallest one. Put it over here. So I can take this one. Put it over there. No, big guy, you go back down. The little one, the little one comes with me. It goes on. Stop it, damn it. The little one goes on this end. So I can take the medium one, put it in the middle. It feels like if I'm trying to put him anywhere, it's probably in the middle, so. That in the middle. There we go. I'd be better at this puzzle if I was better at controlling it. That was that was the solution. Put it in the middle. All right. Yeah, that puzzle wasn't so hard once I figured out how to bloody control it. <laughs> Just took me a while to understand and control that puzzle. All right. So walking through these beams is probably bad news. And after all that puzzling, I'm gonna save it. Not no, not that save. Uh, write diary. Let's see. I. Salkind has a nasal voice. City Golem, thank you to Mithrin. Oh, no, no, no! Ah! Fuck! Hawk, is that the sweet song of lamentation I hear? Yes, yes, indeed it is. I made one of the oldest mistakes in the book, and that is reading instead of writing. <laughs> I hit the wrong button, I gotta watch out for that magnifying glass, but I got to have all the fun of completing that puzzle a second time, and boy was that fun. Well, I got myself killed, alright. Uh, I deserve it. Hawk, is that the sweet song of lamentation I hear? You better believe it. What if I feel like fighting? Will it still kill me? Nope. Okay then. Fair enough. Purple potion used. I'm not sure if that's the way I was supposed to get through that, but it is the way I got through it. Interesting. Very, very big door. Okay. Oh, I unlocked it and then relocked it. Uh, it's about time I found a door which I had a key to. Okay, don't have a key to that one. Or I don't need a key for that one, but that's fine. This place looks pretty uh, significant, I would say. This is looking... A female statue. A male statue. And another male statue. These look like... Unique. Oh, there goes my potion. Unique figures. A lot of etchings on the wall. I'm just gonna investigate this room real quick. Okay. Nothing special in here. Locked. I don't have the key for that one. Are these runes on the door special? Okay, well, I'm pretty close to, uh, that looks... Whatever's in that room looks pretty significant, so... I'm getting pretty close to whatever's in that room. Oh, were you- You were laying on the key, a crafty, crafty skeleton. I thought I saw something slightly odd. It's like there's something slightly odd about that skeleton. After all the skeletons I searched in every single location, and I don't search that one. Oh, I feel a little bit bad. Anyways, 
Well, I'm glad that I figured that out. That is not the key to that door, though. But it is the key I need to somewhere else. I was starting to think that all it was is I find the key there. Alright, well, I'm making progress. Steadily making progress. Steadily. I feel like fighting this bean crap. So, will that open up this? Yes. Alright. Yeah, I didn't need a golem to open that door after all. But if I needed to, I'd open up that one with it. Oh, and that's just a... That's just a side door to this? I didn't even... Thanks to the design of this game, I had no idea that door was there. Okay, so now what? What? So, I guess there's another door that I must be able to open with this key, because... I definitely can't get through here. But at least now that I have this key, I won't have to go through that trap every single time. I guess that's the main intention, is that that trap... You're only supposed to get through it using stone skin, but they don't want you to go through it every single time you want to get into that chamber, so... So, where can I go? Now. Can I get through here? Yes, I can! Oh, I think I know what to do now! And that gives me access to the Zealand Shield. Might as well open up this door now, too. But if, when when the game gives you something, now it now it's time for me to have the Zealand Shield. Okay, I've been waiting for this. Uh, I've been waiting to use the Zealand Shield for a while now, actually. So, yeah, I know exactly what to do now. All right, let's do this. Ow! Ow! Yeesh! Double fire! Triple! Triple combo from one, one, right. I don't want to use that. I want to use the other path. I don't want to get shocked to death. Rest up. And just in case something happens, I'm going to write... And I see the quill this time. I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm going to write in my journal. I just wrote on entry 2, so I'll just keep go I'll just go around from entry 2. Uh This looks like a trap. This looks like a This looks like a Oh yeah, it looks like a trap. Trap 3. Sounds good. Alright, so we're gonna use, or, well, I'm not sure if it's a trap, but it looks like it, something's gonna happen here, so. I put the Zealand shield on the altar, and... Yep! Greetings, Avatar. Hello! We are aware of you and from where you come. We also know of what you seek. And we wish to help you. You must become your destiny. What is that? That is not important now. Know that we wish to help you in your quest. I think it is important. Behind us lies the tomb of Kumash Gore. Ah. I know who Kumash Gore is. He's a dude. Only the most fearsome warrior who ever lived. Exactly. Eons ago, he was a great chieftain to our worshippers. A Zealand. But now he lies forever entombed in honor of his valor. Who got his wish? With him rests an artifact that is the key to tremendous power. It is made of black rock, a substance with which you have considerable familiarity. Do I? The small object is shaped much like a pyramid, but be warned. For even in death, Kumash Gore has kept the fighting spirit to which he held so tenaciously in life. I like that voice. He will not part readily with his possessions. Good luck, Avatar. <laughs> well, that was cool. Uh, yeah, I thought there is nothing more we can tell you until you have found the ancient artifact. Okay. Uh, or wait. I thought you you just want me to go through here, right? Or no, that's not quite right. I thought you said beyond here lies Kumash Gore or something. That blue guy, I think the blue guy is kind of a bad voice actor. Or his voice acting is the worst. The girl is so-so, and I think this guy's got a cool voice. If I was going to hire a voice actor, I'd hire this dude. But that's beside the point. But the door is still locked, and I cannot get in. So what was the point of all that? What if I use the key of Scion? Can I get in then? 
No. Ah, these are the gods. These are the Zealand gods. Apophis, Amoras, and Odeon. Okay, wow, I was talked to I was talked to by the Zealand gods. Wow, okay. Nice to meet you. Maybe I'll get my wish granted after this. It feels like it feels like I should just march straight through and fight the dude. Alright, forgive me. I wanna hear it one more time. Just one more time. At this very moment, Britannia burns. That is wonderful, let me tell you. Greetings, Avatar. We are aware of you and from where you come. We also know of what you seek. And we wish to help you. You must become your destiny. And now I know why he sounds so lazy. That is so not lazy. now. Know that we wish to help you in your quest. Behind us lies the tomb of Kumash Gore. Only the most fearsome warrior who ever lived. Eons ago, he was a great chieftain to our worshippers. But now he lies forever entombed in honor of his valor. With him rests an artifact that is the key to tremendous power. It is made of black rock, a substance with which you have considerable familiarity. I only the read small about it. object is shaped much like a pyramid, but be warned. For even in death, Kumash Gore has kept the fighting spirit to which he held so tenaciously in life. He will not part readily with his possessions. Good luck, Avatar. There is nothing more we can tell you until you have found the ancient artifact. Okay, so... Alright, so I'm being a bit thick about this, but... The, I guess the path I'm supposed to go on is not in that direction. I'm supposed to find Kumash Gore somewhere else? Okay. I'm a bit confused. After doing the Ze Zealand Shield thing, I thought that I'd be good to go. <laughs> that was an interesting throw. The Zealand Shield suddenly makes a lot of sense, though. You've got the symbols for... Apathy, love, and war. The balance, the sword, and the hand. Just like they said in the book. Maybe there's something on the walls that'll help us through. We've got those various runes. We've got dudes' faces. Let's see how that'll help. Yeah, and these runes, you can't click on the runes, so it's like the runes aren't the issue. Oh, oh, maybe it's, uh, dispelling magic portals. Right, it could be a mag- It's a magic door! It's a magic door! It's a magic door, of course! It's got runes, it's a magic door. All right! Kumash Gore, let's do this! Who is foolish enough to disturb the sanctity of Kumash Gore? It is I. Come, you seeking treasure? The Avatar. Well, it is death you have found. Well, at least I get something. Okay, a ghost! I can take a ghost! Is that all you've got as a ghost? I can beat a ghost! I beat ghosts all day long! I don't even need a potion to de deal with a ghost. Of course, this ghost might be a bit tougher than other ghosts I fought. Nope! Uh, that was easy! What's this? The Scimitar of Kumash Gore. Is that, is that all you've got? Just a ghost? A particularly tough ghost? Well, I'm going to wield it. I don't know if it's better, but I'm going to wield it. Mr. Mr. Gore? Kumash? Chaos gem. Other gem. Yeah, he basically gave normal ghost loot and then a scimitar. I have defeated your ghost, Kumash Gore. Or was that ghost him? Oh, ho Okay, well... I defiled his skeleton. No big deal. Okay, was this trapped? Nope. And they gave me a few free potions. Cool. In case I needed them. In case I was panicking and going, Oh no! I'm being beat up by a ghost! Fortunately, that is not the case. Really, the fights in this game aren't nearly as tough as just the puzzling. The puzzling... The puzzles are puzzling. Ten Bari and Ale has been here for a very long time. I'll drink it. What? And then the Avatar was poisoned and died. Ah, there it is! There it is. 
the obelisk tip. Just the tip. So that's black rock. We've now got some black rock. Stuff that the titans fear. Supposedly we can potentially fight the titans with that thing? Like if I whack them. Uh, all I gotta do is just throw it at the... If I see a titan, I just throw it at the titan's face and it'll be like, Ugh, What are you doing with all this black rock? Uh, uh, I don't like it. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> I don't think that's how I'm gonna use it. But okay, we got the thing. Hey guys, I got the thing. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Well done, mortal. The item of black rock which you <laughs> now possess is the first key to unlocking tremendous power within yourself. Cool. What power? Beyond earth, water, air, and fire, there is another element. Hmm. A fifth element. You have heard of it before. It is called ether. And like the others, this element will assume a form of titanic proportion. I thought it was a Bruce Willis movie. You are to be that titan. The titan of ether. I am? We know that the power is within you. Okay, then. But it is up to you to have the courage to use this power. You must take the power from the other titans. You must take their worshippers. Just as our followers were ripped from our grasp. Wow. Continue your quest for the powers of the other titans. For that is the way to gain their followers. The greater the abilities you can accrue, the better chance you will have of weakening the other four, and eventually standing with them as more than just an equal. Go now to find the titans called Stratos, Hydros, and Pyros. You shall find Hydros in her underground temple. The other two dwell on the surface. Farewell. And good haste. In your conquest. Wow, thanks guys. That was really cool. I, I, I that, that's way more than I expected to be doing in this game. Becoming a titan, and then becoming the god of this world. Really, why should I leave after? So I'm going to become the god of pagan, the titan. I'm going to become the one true titan of pagan, and then I'm just going to leave. I'm gonna be like, see you guys. All right, oh, do you, do you all worship me now? Do you all worship me now? Okay, well, God is out. See ya. You're on your own. I, I kind of feel like I'm going to be a jerk. A supreme jerk. I'm going to become a supreme being and then a supreme jerk. That's what it sounds like. Okay, so that's it for this place. I get to leave. Or I don't know why I'm walking. I guess I should just, uh... I should just warp out of here. Of course, maybe I should look around first. Just make sure I don't leave anything behind. But wow, this is pretty significant. This is really significant. This is... That was that, that's that that plot twist surprised me a lot. Is there a reason you still got sparkly Zerapathus? Guess you don't really care, do you? Anyways, I'm gonna teleport back to Central Tenebrae. I can get back here pretty quickly if I need to, and then I'm gonna save the game as I'm gonna. Be a titan when I grow up. Nice to send his best avatar. Well, I'm gonna be a titan, and we'll see who sends who sends the best. Who sends the best? Then I'll send him my best. Of course, when the avatar returns home, he loses his titan powers. I know that because otherwise Ultima 9 wouldn't be very interesting. But anyways, thank you very much for watching this episode of Ultima 8 Pagan. It certainly was interesting. I did not know that the game was going to have such grandiose goals. I I knew that the quest involved the titans in some ways. I knew that I would be getting spells from uh, Stratos and things like that. But I didn't know I would be taking the spells directly from Stratos, taking his powers, taking their followers. This kind of reminds me of Black and White, uh, where you're fighting over followers. Gods get their power from their followers. So, or, to a lesser extent, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Terry Pratchett book, uh, Small Gods, because there were gods that gained or lost powers based on their belief. But then, in fact, there's actually a couple pieces of media where gods have power based on the number of followers they have. 
There was a video game called Sacrifice that also had gods that had power levels based on the number of followers. But anyways, I think it's a cool concept. Honestly, this is like one of the earliest games I know of that use, utilizes that concept, so maybe you could say this game came up with it. I'm not sure which one of those pieces of media that I mentioned came first, but I'm gonna be a titan. I'm gonna be the titan of ether. I don't even know what that is, but I bet it's probably gonna be pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be pretty cool to use the spells of Stratos and potentially Pyros. I'm not sure if I'll get Hydro spells, but I guess I'm gonna get Hydro spells too. I, I wasn't sure if I was ever gonna get Hydro spells because I thought those were hereditary. But um, but Pyros, there was a there you know there was a wizard to there was a um, there's a mage there's a fire ma fire mage in town so I thought I'd be getting fire spells potentially because I could learn it from him and then that scroll told me I could learn the Stratos spells and then there was that other thing so I kind of I kind of figured that I'd be getting the spells from those two titans after I got the spells from Lithos but man what a reveal that was. Very interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see you next time. Virtuous followers of the virtues. Good night.